She-Hulk, it's still awful. But on the upside, during this episode, Jen gets punched in the face while she's thrown up in a bush. And seeing as Jen is human, and she flew maybe 30 feet from that one punch to the face, she'd be dead. And if you're curious about how she survived that, I can't tell you. She'd be dead. The show's rubbish. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. You probably only came here to hear me suffer. It's She-Hulk time again. How can I make it fun this time? I was browsing for news related to the show and got some clickbait articles. And for a horrible moment, I actually thought Disney had greenlit a season two of She-Hulk. Honestly, I'm so fed up with Disney Marvel at this point. I've just not been watching a lot of the new stuff. Since Endgame, I've just been over it. I didn't watch Hawkeye. I didn't watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier. WandaVision. Doctor Strange 2. Black Widow. I Am Groot. Loki. Thor Love and Thunder. I only watched She-Hulk to review it. So what was going on in this episode? Well, Jen was at a wedding where everybody was awful. And Jen had just learned that the date that her friends had set her up with was a crippled dog. Meanwhile, at Jen's law office, Mallory and Nikki are having to fill in for Jen. They have a client called Mr. Immortal, and he's in legal trouble. He's been married multiple times, I think they say eight times, and he has superpowers. He can't die, so when he gets bored, he fakes his death and moves on from the marriage. He kills himself so he doesn't have to ask for a divorce. And the problem is, his ex-spouses have caught up with him. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to think of what happens in this scene. The two women get irate and start talking and talking over each other. They lose any kind of professionalism and he gets so upset, he throws himself out of an office window. And I'm not sure who the butt of this joke is supposed to be. The man for evading the confrontation, the women for being so awful that he'd rather throw himself out of a window than talk to them, or me for watching this inane rubbish. And this raises a tricky ethical question that is frankly more interesting than talking about this show. So I'm going to talk about that instead briefly. Is it more ethical to fake your death instead of getting divorced? And I don't know. I could envisage times when maybe it would be. It could maybe cause less trauma to the partner if they think you're dead instead of rejecting them. It could leave them financially better off without the cost of a divorce. It's ethically non-trivial. As it is, Mr. Immortal left many of the partners with credit card debts or raising children alone. So no, once kids are in the equation, that changes it. The lawyers seem to repeatedly breach ethical codes and seem happy at their own client's distress because they don't like him. And Nikki arranges what everyone will get from Mr. Immortal after the divorce after extensive bickering. Jen gets seen at the wedding by the bride who wants to talk to her. She asks Jen how she is. And Jen tells her that she has superpowers now and a new job, a lot's changed. Neither of which she actually earned. But the friend instead wants to know if Jen has a man, and she seems to be trying to run Jen down and bring up things that she knows will upset her. And if I was Jen, this maybe would have been the time I left the wedding. But instead Jen stays, and Titania arrives at the wedding. Jen says Titania has weaseled her way into this wedding just to mess with her. And why does nobody else see that? Maybe Jen, because Titania has just arrived and nobody said anything about it yet, and they probably think you're crazy because you're acting crazy. Titania says not everything is about you, Jennifer, and that much should be true, but it isn't. They're going to demonstrate the opposite in this episode. It turns out everything that happens is about Jen. This is how the writers seem to see the world. The writers genuinely seem to think that everything is about them. Ordinarily, I'd probably not even bring up the writers, but they seemingly insert themselves constantly into the story. Jen goes outside and gets approached by a guy called Josh, who seems to be flirting with her. Mid-conversation, the bride comes up to them and asks Jen to clean up her wedding for her, clean up glasses and such, as the bride has been abusing the waitstaff and they've left. And this again would be a good time 
for Jen to leave the wedding. Jen puts on her bridesmaid's dress and joins the other bridesmaids, but she's told that the groomsmen have wrinkled their shirts and the other bridesmaids expect her to be the one to iron them. This is also where Jen is shown that she'll be walking down the aisle with a dog, and this again would be a good time to leave and give the bride both barrels on the way out. Why would you want to be friends with this person or have her in your life at all? She's thoroughly poisonous. Jen instead gets drunk and dances badly to Annie Lennox. Drunk Jen is approached by Josh again and she says to him, everyone is saying how She-Hook is amazing and I just want it to be amazing tonight. And Jen is fishing for compliments. He says he thinks she's pretty great and she goes to throw up in a flower bed. While she's throwing up, Titania approaches her and punches her in the face, sending her flying. And she'd be dead. She went flying maybe 30 feet from a single punch to the face. As Jen, she's human and that would have crushed her skull. Jen asks Titania why she's obsessed with her. And Titania says, I said it wasn't over and I'm not obsessed with you. But it seems everyone else here is. Jen turns into She-Hulk and they have a fight. Titania wants payback for the court case a few episodes ago and the CGI as She-Hulk jumps is horrible again. Jen also wrecks the wedding venue. Titania it seems only came to the wedding to mess with Jen and the fight scene is terrible. Neither of the people in the fight seem to have any fight training whatsoever, whereas the characters they're playing are supposed to be expert brawlers. And by turning into She-Hulk, Jen has also broken her word to the bride. Neither of them can even throw a convincing punch. She-Hulk's dress also appears to be the wrong size. Tatiana Maslany is 5 foot 4 tall. She-Hulk is 6 foot 7. None of this works at all. Why does the dress still fit She-Hulk? Was that dress from the superhero tailor too? Titania's tooth veneers fall out after she trips on some ice and falls face first during the fight. But they didn't somehow come out when she was getting hit in the face by She-Hulk. And the bride comes in drunk and doesn't mind that the venue's been wrecked. She's just happy She-Hulk's at her wedding. In reality, it would probably mean a lawsuit and maybe criminal charges for destroying the wedding venue. She ripped up the patio. On a you are part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take her 